What's up guys, it's Dragonfly Mike 77 and today I am doing a hookah review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Khalil Mamoon Beast. I thought I'd show you an up close version of this beast. This was on sale because the oxidation is starting to wear off, which for me is not a big deal. Because many times with oxidation and hookahs, once you start to polish it, it comes off anyway. So it was not a big deal, and I was able to pick it up for a good cost. But here's what the actual beast looks like. As you can see, especially on the hose port, it is just stainless steel. The oxidation and the little gold coating to it has worn off. That's not a big issue whatsoever. But as you can see, it is a little guy, absolutely and I'll get into the weight later on in the review. But also, while I'm up close, I thought I'd show you guys how this guy actually purges. Now, many times smaller hookahs have a harder time purging. You send water up, but with this one, it purges like a dream. As you can see, that was absolutely effortless, and the vase fills up very quickly. All right, now that you got a glimpse of what the hookah actually looks like, show it with a bowl on. I'm going to get into talking about the aesthetics of it and the actual performance of it. When it comes to the aesthetics, the way the hookah looks, I like it like how it's put together. It's not too bulky when it comes to the actual design of the hookah. I think it's a very sleek looking hookah, which is I absolutely love. I like those sleek hookahs that just look very sharp. Despite the fact that the oxidation is wearing away on this, I still think it has a sleek look to it. I actually like how the oxidation is starting to wear off a little bit because I feel like it gives it kind of a rustic look. And if you noticed on the vase that I was using, it's also very beat up. I've had that vase for a long time and I've just never had a hookah to pair it with. Now I do, I was able to pick up the beast for cheap and the way it's put together, I just feel like it has character. It, ha it gives it a kind of a rustic look. I, I feel like this hookah kind of has seen the world. I actually was planning on, for some of my international trips, I was planning on getting a beast for traveling. Upon receiving it, now I had heard that the Kalima Moon beasts are very heavy. But again, it's a smaller hookah, so I figured that it wasn't going to be that heavy. I was mistaken. This thing is a tank. Size-wise, this is the heaviest hookah I've ever owned. Now, I've owned heavier hookahs, but when it comes to the actual size of the beast, how heavy it is, is pretty surprising. Because of that, I actually am not going to travel with this. This is kind of a hookah that I set up when I don't want to set up one of my bigger hookahs. It's a perfect desk hookah. With that said, because of it being so heavy and the vase being so little and not holding a lot of water, it tends to be a little top heavy. So with that said, you do have to be careful. The hose port can fit any hose. It is a Kalima Moon hose port. If you can find a hose that doesn't fit, it's absolutely huge. Right now, I have the Nijum hose and I have a grommet and it fits like a dream. When it comes to how this actually smokes, it smokes amazing. A lot of times with smaller hookahs, because they're smaller and you don't, the smoke doesn't have as much time to cool going down from the stem into the water. I understand that the water does act like a cooling. The, the water does cool the smoke, but the size of the hookah also has to do with the temperature of the smoke. And a lot of times with smaller hookahs, you don't get the same temperature smoke. With the KM Beast, with this one at least, I noticed that the temperature of the smoke is no hotter, no warmer than when I'm using my Halzone, which is a huge positive. A lot of times, I don't like using smaller hookahs because the smoke is a little warmer. It won't be harsh, but I feel like heat management on, some, on it sometimes isn't the greatest. Another reason why I think the Beast is a fantastic hookah. Take another poke for you guys, I'll show you guys how it smokes.
The draw on this is effortless, despite the fact that the gauge on the KM Beasts aren't as wide as some of the bigger Kalil Mamoons, I still notice that the, the draw is fantastic. Even when I'm using a more restricted hose, I still feel like the pull on it is almost effortless. It's not so open that I don't feel like I'm smoking anything, but it's not so closed that I feel like I actually have to suck to get smoke. Take another poke for you guys. Now earlier I mentioned that this is top heavy. A way to prevent that, and I understand that Bohemian Glass Crystal is more expensive and a lot of people don't want to spend the money on them. For me, it's not just aesthetics with crystal vases. Crystal is going to be heavier than normal glass. Because of that, if you use a smaller, maybe a mini jumbo or something around those lines with crystal, it's going to add weight to the bottom of the hookah and you're going to have a less risk of tipping this over. It is very easy to move. It's very easy to walk around the room with this. I have no problem, especially with the lotus on there. I can shake this around and I know it's going to stay together and I'm probably not going to knock it over. But you do want to be a little more careful with this than you would bigger hookahs. I'll take one more poke for you guys. I do give products a rating. This is a 9 out of 10. This is a solid hookah. If I had known that this hookah was going to smoke this well, I would have gotten one a long time ago and I would have paid full price for one. I think it's a fantastic hookah. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it is a tad top heavy. Although a crystal base may help that a little bit, you're still going to notice that this hookah will tip a little easier than the big ones. But again, it's not going, it's, it's not so light that you know you bump the desk or something and it's going to fall over. It's more of something where once you start pulling on that hose, you're getting in dangerous territory. So as I said, I think the Kaleo Mamoon Beast is a 9 out of 10. The best place to get it is 5starhookah.com. They have many different bases. You can get it. You can get a stock Kaleo Mamoon base with a crystal base. It's a little more expensive. But this hookah is fantastic. I'm very glad that I have it. Thank you very much, Alex, for having that sale. I was so happy I was able to pick one up for cheap. I think that's all I got. Uh, I decided to do my intro a little differently this video. Please tell me if you guys like it. Uh, I'll keep doing that if you guys think it's better that way or you just like it. So I think that's all I got. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, peace out.